Artificial intelligence is the biggest buzzword in modern history, but what can it actually do for us now? Well, today, to make our lives a little easier, better, and less stressful, Tech Life Pro Jennifer Jolly is live at HP Imagine in Palo Alto for the annual showcase of new technology that the company says will shape our future. So hi, Jen, it is always great to see you. What are you seeing out there? Well, we are at the mothership, HP's headquarters in the Silicon Valley, where they are about to unveil all of their newest, latest, greatest gadgets, a whole new generation of technology that they say is reimagined from the chips up to make your life a little easier overall, all starting with AI smarts coming to printers. So the big question now, can AI make printers awesome? That is the promise and the hope with a new pretty major software launch that they call Print AI. It fixes a lot of common frustrations that we've all just sort of been living with and putting up with since the dawn of time with printers. Let me show you a great example. They call it the perfect output feature. So let's say you want to print out a recipe from a website. Well, old printing meant that would be 47 pages, all kinds of ads and blank space, but now AI gets in there, it works its magic, it recognizes, reorganizes, and reformats it all onto one page. And it just does it intuitively and easily, and it all rolls out today on beta. Also new, hardware, the NV6500 series. So this lets you print gorgeous studio quality photos at home. I love this. I print stuff all the time. I love to print out photos from my camera, frame them, put them on the wall. It's also made from 60% recycled plastic and starts at just $140. Every new PC coming out these days has some sort of AI built in. So what makes HP special? Well, here's their new Omnibook Ultra Flip. What makes it special is they've gone a little further than just putting this this physical co-pilot button. A lot of others have done that. They've done that too, but then they also have this two-in-one transformer, the form factor, laptop when you need it, tablet when you want it, sports an AI-enabled camera that's huge for crisper, clearer video images, and a dedicated AI engine that just speeds everything up and makes it all just work a whole lot more like how humans work and think more like how humans think, faster, more efficient, with up to 20 hours of battery life and a lot of extra layers of security built in to boot. HP is all about consumers, people like you and me, but they also serve a lot of business customers too. They are calling this new business forward Elite Book X, the world's most powerful next-gen AI business notebook. It has an AMD Ryzen Pro processor that delivers crazy high-speed performance for super demanding workloads then it also has my favorite suite of features here, this AI-enhanced webcam sensor and audio tuning by Poly Studio that just makes everything look and sound better. So you don't need special filters now if you haven't slept enough and you have to get on that video work call first thing in the morning. It makes you look better. Gets rid of all that background noise, the dogs barking, the kids yelling, the doorbell ringing, the sirens, all of that just automatically goes away. And it does all of this easily, intuitively, those are the features built in, just really ups your professional game. And then last but not least, a new feature that I just found out when I got here last night, found out about HP's Hope Recycling Futures program. They refurbish old laptops and PCs and put them back into the hands of deserving kids in underserved communities. I really like that. I'm always looking for ways that large tech companies are really kind of just slowing down, stopping and saying, hey, how can I give back and make the world a little better place? giving uh, those PCs a second life while empowering the next generation with the tools they need to thrive in a digital world. Really like that. Great, great new project going on out here at HP. So to find out about all the latest gadgets HP's coming out with this year, go to their website at hp.com. To find out more about everything I talked about here today, go to my website at techish.com. Back to you.